Welcome to Department of Electronics and Telecommunication at Vidyalankar Institute of Technology. In this department, we have taken this new initiative to start our own YouTube channel. In this YouTube channel, we are going to upload all our experiments video, value-added course video or any other important videos. This material will be available to all the students in Mumbai University and this material will help students to, uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom. I hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query, comments, anything, they can put it in the comment box. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome to VLSA Lab. We have already studied in our lecture about the stick diagram and layout diagram on a graph. Now let's draw its layout on a software application which is Microbit. This is the icon for microwin. Let's click on it and open it. This is how the microwin window looks like. Now in order to start a new project, go to file and select new. Now again go to file and select a foundry. Here for this version I am selecting the foundry as tmos035.rurs but it depends upon which uh, version you are using. In the colleges, mostly you are using CMOS 025. Now, this is how the window looks. If the palette is not there, you can get the palette from here, which show, uh, says show palette. Now, it is 5 lambda. So, in order to draw in 1 lambda, you what you can do is go to the zoom in sign and click on the screen. Now, you can see it is 1 lambda. But, I would, I would suggest you to draw for 10 lambda. What will it do is it will reduce all your design errors. Now in order to go to 10 lambda select on the zoom out sign and click there. Now click once again it becomes 10 lambda. Now professionally it is not suggested to draw on 10 lambda because it will increase the size of the chip. But for a college level, it is fine if you use 10 lambda. Now, now I am just bringing the palette to the center so that it would be easier for me to explain you each and everything. Now, you can see there are 5 different types of metals. Now, you might be wondering which metal shall I use? I would suggest you to use metal 1 and draw it. We know that metal should at least be of 2 lambda. But as I am using 10 lambda here, I won't have any kind of problem or trouble. Now, secondly, what, what else I can see is here is the P-diffusion. We must note that a P-diffusion should at least be of 2 lambda and the distance between a metal and a P-diffusion should at least be of 2 or 3 lambda. Now, next we can see is that we have a contact. Contact is, we all know that contact is only established when a metal gets overlapped. We know that contact should be a square having a side length 2 lambda and distance between the contact and the metal or the diffusion should be 1 lambda. So we have an n -well. It is, we all know that n -well should at least be 6 lambda on all sides of the metal and the p-diffusion. Next we can see that there is a polysilicon. Polysilicon is at least of 2 lambda. This is used for giving input. Now here you can see there is n-diffusion 2. n-diffusion should also be of 2 lambda at least. Now let's give a out and we should note that the distance between the metal and the anvil should also be at least 2 lambda. As you can see that I have already given the contact. And so let's see do we have any design rule check errors. To, click, to check that we are going to click on this icon here. As you can see there is no design rule error. Here you can see that these signs help me to adjust it wherever I want. So there are no errors. Now let's give the input and give the output and see how we are going to do that. I have told you about all these things. Here you can see this arrow going upwards and in blue color shows VDD. Click there and give on the upper metal which is always VDD. Also 
you must note that you should give a VDD supply on in an anvil. We never use this high voltage supply in our practicals for six cent. Next, you can see that there is a ground sign. Go to ground and give the ground to the bottom metal. This gives VS. Now, there are two clock type of signals. This is pulse signal whereas this is clock signal. In order to give the input, we always select a clock signal. Go to that signal and click on the polysilicon. You will see this window. Now, if you want to set a name, do it. I am setting it as A and assign it. Now, I want to give another polysilicon and another input. I want to, I am going to name it differently. Let's click on the polysilicon. I am getting the same window. but. I want this as A and I want to invert it. So in order to invert the last name, I'll use this. It says last clock inverted. I'll click here. You can see that it, we are, uh, it is it shows negation A and I'm assigning it. This means this is A whereas this here is A bar. So you can give every kind of A, A bar, B, B bar, etc. Now, in order to give the output, we go on I, visible node, and give it here. This window will be open. You just have to write your name and assign it. In order to run it, this is the green icon which says run simulation. You can click there and run it. This is a random thing, so you are not going to get a proper output. So, we are not going to check it. Now, I have told you about most of the things here, only these two things are remaining. This is copy elements, which uh, what it does is, if I select this particular thing, then these parts are copied. Now, if I want to paste it somewhere else, I can do that. Now, as you can see, these things have, are copied here. Now, in order to remove that, use gun and select an entire part and it is removed. The other thing which I wanted to show you was this. It is a stretch and move. It happens sometime that you have done a mistake and you, have, you just want to move it downwards or upwards or whatever you want. Just select a particular area which you want to shift. And you can shift it downwards or upwards. You can do it like that. This is how microwind works. In the next further videos of VLSR, you will learn about the inverter, the NAND, the NOR, the XOR, and the half adder implementation on microwind. So please stay tuned. That's all for today. Thank you.